I actually been doing something that's known as Shaka Claus ever since 1992. Uh, my mother was at the uh, Boys and Girls Club and uh, she was with 500 kids. And uh, 500 kids expressed to her that on Christmas Day they probably won't get a single gift. So my mother called me and said, baby, I need to borrow some money. And I, and I saw that her voice, it was a little stress in the voice. And I said, mommy, what's wrong? And she said, well, these kids, they're going to wake up on Christmas and not have anything. I want to buy some toys. And I, said, and I told her, I said, you can't buy some toys. I'll take care of it. I didn't have a plan. So me and my Uncle Jerome, we were, we were leaving practice. And across from my house, there's a U-Haul place. So I said, Jerome, you get a truck, I get a truck, get a couple of other fellas, get a, get a truck. And we went to Toys R Us and we just wiped them out. And, uh, you know, we just brought toys. I think we got five toys each for uh, each of the 500 kids. And that's how Shaka Claus was started. I wish I could take all the credit, but it was started by my mother. Uh, I started doing it with uh, Marines, uh, Toys for Tots, and Toys R Us 10 years ago. And it's a great cause, because like you said, 15 million kids will wake up on Christmas Day and not have one single toy. I actually know what that feels like. But I wasn't always you know, blessed to have you know, a great Christmas. Uh, it was me, my brother, uh, I had three sisters, and my father. Since I was old, my father would always come in and say, hey, let me take care of your sisters first, and I'll get you the next payday. And then uh, it was cool. And on one, one Christmas when I thought I wasn't getting anything, I got the best Christmas present ever. The one that changed my life, it was an autographed Dr. J ball. That's all I wanted was just a Dr. J ball. So I don't want kids to feel like I felt on that morning. So Marine Toys of Tots, uh, Toys of Us, myself, and you know we urge you to go out and uh, donate. I think tomorrow's the last day that you can donate a toy, but you know we want to you know try to you know decrease those numbers.